So I have here today um, an iPhone 4 from 2012, the first generation of iPhone 4 and uh, this model is uh, factory unlocked so I can um, activate it with any SIM card but I locked it to uh, my iCloud account and we're gonna downgrade it to uh, 6.1 to see if you can bypass the activation lock from iOS 7 so it's uh, activation this is the screen with the activation lock it's locked to uh, iCloud ID so we're gonna go ahead and uh, power it off then we're gonna hold the power and home button at the same time for 10 seconds then just the home button, release the power button and I just heard a sound from the computer uh, to recognize it in DFE mode and we're gonna go over here to the PC for this downgrade we're gonna need iTunes version 11.0.0 uh, I already downloaded it and uh, uninstalled the iTunes I had the latest version and uh, when opening the iTunes 11.0.0 you'll get this error the file iTunes library cannot be read because it was created by a newer version that's fine just go to your computer okay C drive users go to your username my music and in my music you're gonna find a folder iTunes just delete that and uh, iTunes should be working now so it's detected the phone in recovery mode We're gonna just uh, leave this aside for the moment and go into my work folder and open up iFaith. Okay. And we're gonna build a um, assigned uh, IPSW. We're gonna browse for the files, have it here. The 3.1, iPhone 3.1, that means the revision the first revision iPhone 4 from model from 2011 okay open the blobs are okay select for the IPSW it's the All seems well. I'm gonna go ahead and build. I'll not be cutting anything from this uh, video to see how long it takes and everything I do so there would be no misunderstanding about the process sorry for the shaky camera
okay it's done now we're gonna go and go ahead and put the device uh, into pawn dfu mode it's a deeper dfu mode that will uh, bypass some errors in itunes okay i got an error no problem we're gonna do it again use dfu pawner So the phone is in a black screen and we can go ahead and open up iTunes. I'm gonna go shift restore. And just select the builded uh, IPSW with iFate open and it's gonna go ahead and restore the phone I got the Apple logo on the phone and the iFaith is working so everything is good for now Now as it is restoring I want to clear up something, uh, the blobs we are using in this uh, video are for this phone so um, I may not get an error at the end of uh, the loading bar but uh, if you are using the, the blobs I uh, put in the description for this phone you will get an error 37 and that's just fine, it's okay. I'm gonna go over the process of fixing that when the, we get there
at this point when the bar is full uh, iTunes will give you the 37 error and I'm not gonna get that because the blobs are for this phone but what uh, you need to do after you get uh, the error the phone will be in uh, DFU mode and you need to open up Red Snow and I'm gonna show you in a minute just waiting it for finish see okay I didn't get the error but you will I'm loading the phone is loading but yours will be in DFU mode so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in DFU mode as well to be in the same state as you okay so after the error 37 you should get this pop up again the i2 has detected the phone in recovery mode okay just put it aside open up red snow go to extras select uh, IPSW and go for the 6.0 so the iPhone 4 6.0 IPSW select that identify it okay and go for recovery fix so it will fix the boot of the phone you should be getting this Red Snow uh, is done. All the process uh, will finish in the phone. Okay. And now it will still be in DFU mode. My boot is okay and it will boot now, but you you'll be still in DFU mode. But now uh, you can go back to uh, Red Snow and select just boot and it will boot up the phone as it would normally boot so open up red snow again extra select go for the 6.0 okay and just boot this time now your phone should be able to boot and if it's factory unlocked then uh, you should be able to activate it we're gonna see in just uh, a minute if this worked now this uh, this method uh, I don't suggest you remain in the iOS 6 because um, it's the boot ROM is unstable this is just for um, the iCloud activation lock remove so as soon as you remove it I recommend you go back to 7.0.4 and activate the phone as uh, you would normally do this time hopefully without the iCloud ID lock
so we're just activating it normal connecting to wireless Wi-Fi go next and bullshit and it ends here goodbye <laughs>